we are finding it very hard to believe. It's very, it's mind blowing. I know that my brother have had mental issues. The community knew him as having mental issues. And the police too knew that he had mental issues because on the night that they had to take him, before they took him to the police station, they had to take him to the, um, the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital to get a, a injection for him to calm down his nerve as they would usually do when we call them. And the hospital didn't have the medication that he needed so what they did, they just gave him a, a sedative, a, um, a mild relaxer for him to just calm himself. After they left the hospital, they took him to the police station to charge him for an offense that he had committed. Ms. Catherine, what do you think happened that day in that cell? Miss? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, but like I said, knowing my brother, the only thing I could think of that happened there, he must have said something to one of those, or maybe two of those police officer, and maybe they hit him, like I said, Maybe, they, I am not saying anybody, but maybe let the evidence speak. I want to see the evidence. What they are telling me that my brother kill, kill himself is not, is not real. It's not real. Because all through Gregory's depression, and he was, he never, ever, ever, committed or, or, or say that I am going to kill myself. Never. He, is, he said, I am never going to commit suicide. That is what he told one of his friends. When it's, why, why you don't you just do away with her? No, I will never do that. Never commit suicide.